first one in two years. That sounds very bad. <laughs> <laughs> no, only messing. Um, yeah, look, first time back in the ring in freaking a long, long time, and you know, it's not, it's not that I was out, out of the ring for, you know, injuries or anything like that. There, I was out of the ring off a, off a heavy defeat, and there was definitely question marks over what's next for me. You know, and, and myself and my career. And I think I had overcome a lot tonight. Um, not so much in the fight, but, you know, in the build up, a lot, a lot of memories, a lot of things, you know, from your last fight, because that was the last thing to go off. So um, I'm very happy with the way that, that I controlled myself um, before the fight, you know, kept myself disciplined, kept myself uh, very fully focused, getting into the ring. Um, been doing a lot of work recently with a very close friend of mine, Shane O'Sullivan. Um, we, we, we went through a lot and, you know, of the mindset of things. And, you know, I was really happy the way things turned out tonight before we got into the ring. What about your opponent? Very tricky guy. Obviously. Yeah. Survivor. Yeah, without a doubt. You know, I think a lot of us know as well. A couple of days ago, Barry, the sweat was dripping off oh. you. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, we we had an opponent, Kim Polson, with an unbelievable record, 30-6, and six, and it would have been the perfect fight to come back. Um, Kim tore his bicep, um, showed his medical reports, everything like that. I wish him well. I wish him a good recovery. Um, oh. Then we had another lad, Armenian. Uh, Hunanian. Hunanian. Um, tough operator as well. Obviously, that kind of late notice. It's hard to get anybody with real caliber that you know, is going to look good. But he ended up not happening, and, and it, we, were, we, were, we were counting down the hours, not even the days, to get uh, this lad. And I was very happy that Gibor took the fight. He's a very tough, very durable boy, and he knows how to he knows how to survive in there. Which it kind of worked for me as well, you know, coming back after you know for nearly two years, getting a good ten rounds in. In front of a home crowd, in front of an unbelievable atmosphere, you know, it was uh, it was very enjoyable in there. Did you throw the kids at them, or did you? I didn't, to be honest, and I hope everybody doesn't slate me. But um, I have a wedding coming up at the end of the end of the month, and I didn't want no cuts or no bad for it. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the God's honest truth, lads. Because. Because I knew, I knew he was dangerous. I knew he was dangerous with his head. Like he came in a few times with his head, and when he threw his hooks, like he he put his head down and just came in with him. So I didn't really want to engage too much with him in case he drove his head and I got a cut or a mark or anything like that. There, I'm sure the wedding would have still went ahead, would it? <laughs> but um, yeah, that was a little bit in the back of my head, which probably shouldn't have been there. But. Um, I didn't throw the kitchen sink at him. I did throw some heavy shots at him. I definitely hurt him big time to the body. I could hear him once in, but he's a tough operator. Every time you hit him, he's like, ah, oh, come on. And I just smiled at him like, and I had another few jabs and got back to, got back to doing what I was doing. So, um, he's a tough operator, knows how to survive in there. And I think it was the, it was the perfect fight for me to, to come back after the Andrade fight. Was it all about getting rounds too, Jason, given the fact that you were out of the ring for so long? Yeah. And the start of this new journey that you're on again to get to try and get back to, to the top again. Um, was it all about getting the rounds under the belt again for you? Yeah, 100%. Mm -hmm. um, you know, that's something that I don't regret much in life. Um, I don't regret much in my career. But looking back, and I see a lot of our fighters now at the minute, um, everybody knows Sheer Sports Elite. You know, we're here to do massive things in Ireland now. And put professional boxing back on the map. We have Tyler Jolly, James and Gilbert, Brett McGinty, the two Wallace brothers ready to, to make waves for themselves. Um, we have a, we have a great stable of fighters coming through. And I know Tyler Jolly just went at his man as soon as he caught him with hell for leather, got him out of there. And I did that exactly same thing early on in my career where I wasn't present in the fight. Early on in my career, I wasn't, you know, picking my shots, preparing myself for eight, 10, 12 round fights. It's going to come later in your career with guys like that there that just knows how to survive in there. So for me, it was about getting the rounds in. Um, and that was something that I didn't do early on in my career. 
um, I kind of, you know, just went hell for leather as soon as I seen him getting hurt. And, you know, it's a great saying, you don't get paid for overtime in professional boxing and you don't. But looking back at my earlier fights, I wish I had to pace myself a little bit more in some of those fights. I wish I had to, you know, gauge my way into the fight, touching, picking, looking for shots, opening up your opponents, doing all these things. But I'm delighted now I'm at this place where I'm able to do it now, but I'm also able to give that experience down to these younger fighters coming through and some of these younger fighters that are going to be massive names coming through now in the future. It was a, obviously a home fight for you, Jason, big Donegal <laughs> crowd there, there as well. You waited a long time for something like this? Yeah, like, fuck me, lads. Um, Boston was unbelievable. Uh, and to be honest, I think I took it in too much in Boston. You know what I mean? When I got in that ring, I was looking around me at the faces and everything. And oh, this time I couldn't have told you who was sitting in what seat in the stadium. And this was a much smaller venue than the Andrade fight. Like, um, I was a lot more in the zone. I was a lot more focused in this fight. Um, and I was a lot more present in the ring. Whereas I still took the atmosphere in. I still heard the noise. I still felt the the adrenaline, I still felt the, the buzz off the crowd, the energy off the crowd, and it was something else, like, you know what I mean? I could definitely, you know, I think it's one of, one or two of the venues that you're not going to get around the world that you can actually hear people's voices, like, it's a very, and like, I could hear two or three people's voices, like, fuckers, that person, I was like, right, back, back into the zone here, um, but yeah, no, an unbelievable venue and even in here warming up like the years that i've spent in here um i remember coming in here in my early days as a senior and boys getting the better of me and sparring going home with black eyes and saying what we had up and up what the hell's going on up there with you like you're coming home every weekend with black eyes and you know going through that mold going through that that transition as i says I had to overcome a lot of uh, memories, a lot of emotions coming back here, especially warming up here, getting back into the stadium fighting. Um, it, it was definitely special and it was definitely enjoyable and uh, something that I'll definitely remember for a long time. This last one for me, you're in a happier place. You no know, looking at you, you're smiling, yeah. you're, you're more content again, yeah. are you? Yeah. After that? Um, I suppose it's been a long, long journey. Um, I've been doing this since I was 10 years of age, I'm now 31, and it's been a long journey. There's been a lot of ups, there's been a lots of downs, and tonight was definitely one of those ups. And I'm very lucky that you'll see a small circle of people around me, and that small circle of people mean a lot to me. They've been through me through the highs, they've been through me through the lows, they've stuck by my side, and you know. Without getting into it too much, very, 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 very happy and don't want to get too emotional, but really looking forward to the end of the month to marrying that woman over there and uh, spending the rest of my life here.